Praise Lord, friends. My name is Arthur Kamiya Omusolo, and I serve with Scripture Union Uganda in Eastern Region, based in Imbale. Before I get to the word for today, let us pray. Loving Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this day, King of Glory, and for all that you've taken us through, oh God. Father, as we are going to listen from your word, O oh God, we pray that you speak to us, O oh God, that King of Glory, your word shall sink deep in our hearts, and that shall surely make impact in us, O oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Open with me the book of Hebrews, chapter 12. And you shall read the first two verses. I'll take it from the NIV. It says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. Let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Verse 2 says, Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of God. Friends, the Bible talks of the cloud of witnesses. But is it the ordinary clouds that we see when we get out in the compound? No. The cloud of witnesses talked about here are our forefathers, the faithfuls who died long ago, the likes of Abraham, Moses, Aaron, Isaac, and many more. These make up the cloud of witnesses. And every other day, when a faithful person dies, they possibly join the cloud of witnesses. And so they are cheering us towards the goal. Remember, we all have our individual races marked out for us. And so we finish the race at different points. So it's not a competition in this spiritual race. Verse 1 continues to say, Let us throw off everything that hinders the sin that so easily entangles. Take a look at our athletes. When they are running, they do not dress on gumboots, not on jeans or even high-heeled shoes but rather they dress on very light clothes. In our schools during athletics, one even keeps removing other clothes because they want to be light enough to run the race. In this spiritual race, friends, there are many things that have made us heavy, and so we can't run the race effectively. We have those sins that are entangling us. Things like hatred, jealousness, immorality, adultery, name them. These have failed us from running the spiritual race to completion. I do not know what kind of weight or sin you are struggling with as a person, but you need to strip it off so that you can run the race marked out for you. The Bible continues to say, let us run with perseverance. Meaning it's not a bed of roses. It's not just eating chocolate, but a lot comes your way. That will make you feel like quitting the race. Like we always quit in a physical race, at school when running, because maybe number one has doubled you, the hill is too big, the sun is too hot, and so you feel you can't continue. In the spiritual race, the hurdles that may come your way may even be tougher, friends, but do not quit the race before finishing. There is only one thing you need to do when running this race. Fix your eyes on Jesus. There is a difference between looking at something and fixing your eyes on something. You may look at something like I'm looking at you now. And when something else that looks good gets in the picture, 
I will definitely switch my attention. But when I fix my eyes on you, this means all my attention, my minds, my emotions will be dedicated to you. In that, even when something gets in between, I will not notice it at all. Now, that is how we fix our eyes on Jesus. As we run this spiritual race, have your eyes fixed on Jesus to a level that no matter the temptation that will come your way, you may not notice it because you'll be focused on Jesus Christ, who is the author and perfecter of our faith. Friends, as I conclude, let me say this. You cannot fix your eyes on something you do not have interest in. Meaning, you cannot fix your eyes on the Lord Jesus if you are not interested in him. Interest yourself in Christ and allow him to take charge of your life by confessing him as your Lord and Savior. Then fixing your eyes on him will be very possible and he will also fight your battles as it is written in 2 Chronicles chapter 20 verses 15. Pray about what you are struggling with and fix your eyes on Jesus and he will see all of us through. Follow us on our social media pages of Facebook and YouTube and get many more teachings that will help you. God bless you.